Hey, up everyone. Right, so today's the day. Today's the day when Britain can only be described as enters a social experiment here, right? So today is the day that the government's been calling Freedom Day. Freedom Day. Basically what's happened today is that Britain has just removed all of the restrictions that have been in place over the COVID-19 thing. So for the last five months, we've been in lockdown, right? So we've all been told we've got to stay at home. We've got to keep away from other people. We've got to maintain social distancing. We've got to use hand sanitizers. We've got to wear masks. We're basically not supposed to leave the house. The, the country like basically been at a standstill for the last five months. There's been hardly any traffic on the road. Um, there's been complete lockdown, complete and utter. And then suddenly we go from complete lockdown to complete freedom. And obviously, you know, most people are happy about this. This means that we're finally getting to the end that we might be able to have a normal life back. And so lots of people are quite happy that, the, that these restrictions and stuff are being lifted. Everybody's planning to go out, go to nightclubs and stuff, seeing as that everybody can go back to nightclubs and things. And so everybody seems quite happy about it. That's great. But the problem is that just because the government says that this is a good idea, doesn't mean that it is a good idea, right? Everybody else in the world has told the British government not to do this, right? The World Health Organization, which is a United Nations organization, right? Came out and gave a statement specifically about the British saying, don't do this. If you do this, you're gonna end up with lots and lots of people dying, right? <laughs> There was a letter that was sent out by a load of scientists to the government also saying, don't do this, you're going to end up with a lot of people dying, right? In this country we've got what's called SAGE, which is an acronym, um, which is like, um, it's like strategic advice for emergencies, right? It's basically all the top scientists in the country are part of this advisory board and then they advise the government what to do in relationship to science and what science says, right? And they've come out and said, don't do this, right? But the government, in its wisdom, has decided that that's what it's gonna do. And that's what's happened today. So all the restrictions and everything are being lifted in this country right now. Now, to me, this is probably one of the most incompetent and risky decisions that any government that I've ever known has ever made here. You're essentially putting the entire British population into an experiment here to see what happens when you just let the virus run rampant here, right? We've, we've got no protections in place at all here. And the thing is that we've been in lockdown all this time, but we've been infected with this Delta variant, this one that came from India, right? It's much more infectious. It attacks both young people, middle-aged, old people, so it's just attacking a lot more people. There's a lot more people dying from it. It's a much different beast than what we've had to deal with before, right? And this, this virus is spreading exponentially within the population, right? We're getting a doubling of the cases every two weeks, right? So it's not long ago we were being told, oh, 6,000 cases, that's terrible. We had 60,000 this week, right? This, this, is, this is just going through the population, even though we're in lockdown, right? Even though we're in lockdown, even though we've got all these protections in place, it's still running rampant, it's still running 
rush shot throughout the population. Thousands and thousands of people being infected. Thousands of people dying. So, it seems like this is like the exact wrong time to start relaxing things, yeah? If we were in a situation where things were getting better, where infection rates were going down, where deaths were going down, where it looked like we had some kind of control, that might be a time when you say, right, then now we can start to relax some of these rules. But that's not where we are. Where we are right now is things are getting worse. More and more people are getting infected. More and more people are dying. And yet, this is the time that the government decides to drop all those restrictions, to drop all those protections and stuff that we've had in place for over a year. It's now just being removed like that. So, so that's where we are. That's where we are in Britain right now. There's a massive social experiment going on to find out what happens when this just gets to spread rampant throughout here. Well, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. Exactly the same as what everybody else in the scientific community is saying is going to happen. Is we're going to end up with a massive spike of infections here. Once all the protections have gone, it's going to be a massive spike. Now, like I say, we've got 60,000 infections here. Now, the government seems to accept what people are telling them about what's going to happen. It just doesn't seem to be bothered, right? So, so the government came out and said what they think is going to happen is that lots of people are going to get infected and that we might end up with about 100,000 people per day getting infected. 100,000 people. That's almost double what we've got now. And what we've got now is now 10 times as bad as what it was before. Right? And they're, talk they're, and they're quite happy about it. Yeah, we might have 100,000 people infected. If 100,000 people a day start getting infected, we're going to have thousands and thousands of people dying here. Right? This is just this is what's going to happen. The government doesn't seem to care in the slightest that all these people are going to die. We have only got 45% of people in this country who've had two jabs. 45%. It's not even half. Right? We're not even anywhere near herd immunity here, right? So, there's nothing to protect us now, right? We haven't got herd immunity, so that's not going to protect us. We haven't vaccinated enough people, so that's not going to protect us. And now we're dropping all of the social distancing and all of the social measures that we've brought in to try and combat this. We're now getting rid of them. This is insanity. This is... This is just absolute insanity. This is just the government just throwing the population to the wolves and just going... It's basically like they've surrendered to the virus, right? They can't get it under control. We're going to lockdown. It's still spreading exponentially. And it's like the government have gone, all right, we surrender. Right? We surrender, we give in. We just let the virus do whatever it wants. Yeah, That's not, that's not what governments are supposed to do. You're supposed to protect your population, right? You're not protecting us at all here. You're just leaving us. Just just leaving us all open to be infected by this. It's absolutely irresponsible behaviour like I've never ever seen before. Never seen before. And then and then what's happened? And then what happened, right? As a side issue is basically our finance minister, our Chancellor Exchequer, right? He's just he's just caught COVID, right? So the rules say that anybody who's come into contact with him has to go into to a ten day a ten day quarantine, right? Yeah. Now he's the Chancellor of the Exchequer, which means throughout his day he's been meeting all kinds of top ministers and stuff like this, right? So basically, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, is supposed to go into quarantine because he's been into contact with our Chancellor who's now got it, yeah? So he's supposed to go into quarantine. So what does Boris do? Boris then says that he's going to change the rules, right? So that he doesn't have to go into quarantine and he just has a, he just has a COVID test every day. And you're like, what, what, what? You're just, you're going to change the rules? To help you, just to, just to help you, just to fit in with what you want to do. Well, this, this, we talk about there's one rule for them and one rule for us, and you know we see examples of this. But this is a perfect example of a prime minister willing to change the rules to benefit himself. 
this is what the hell is this what the hell is this well since boris said he was going to do this there's been a massive fucking uproar in this country about this about him just changing the rules to make, help himself and stuff so basically he's backed down and he's not going to change the rules and he's actually gone into isolation for the next 10 days. But, I mean, this is just another example of this government, do you know what I mean? Throw the population to the wolves and start changing the rules to benefit themselves, right? Do you know what I mean? This is the government. This is what we're having to live with in this country. These are the people who are running the country, supposedly in our interest. And this is what we get from them. An acceptance that thousands and thousands of people are going to die, and that's fine. That the country is just going to become massively overrun with this with this disease, and there seems to be nothing we can do about it. So we don't know what's going to happen exactly here, but it looks like we're all fucked.